Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How's everybody doing? I'm just gonna bring the uh, volume of this down a little bit. It's a bit loud for me. How is everybody doing this evening? 
we have got an interesting stream tonight. Um, so I've been given the um, the details of the build of this. And it looks quite complex. So it's going to be a uh, test and find out stream um, as we build this up. Uh, it is a beautiful board set, though, the, um, the one that we're going to be running tonight. Um, and I think I think it'll be an interesting process putting it together, to say the least. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got. So we have got the board here. So we have got, this is the Jelly, and this is the Epoch we're building tonight. So the Jelly Epoch is um, made by Owl Studios. And we can see out here on the side, let's show, we've got the ink variant, which, are, which is sort of like the black variant, the, the black housing. Uh, he's gone for a soldable one. Uh, and the Owl Labs and um, Jelly E.P. 75. Uh, I've already opened this. I've taken a look inside. There's a few extra bits in here which we're gonna not going to need tonight. Um, the, the client has decided uh, when he bought this, he'd buy an extra um, he'd buy an extra PCB and plate for it, uh, just so that uh, uh, if he ever decided that he wanted an extra setup, basically, he'd be able to move to that without any problems so let's uh let's get it open and take a look so one thing they are very good at is packing an awful lot of stuff in here and i am not so good at packing it uh packing it packed together so what we've got here is this is the uh extra polycarbonate plate uh nicely packaged uh in the the Owl Labs design, very nice. Um, this is our extra PCB. Obviously, if the first PCB that we use doesn't work, then we will move to this PCB. Um, but yeah, you see the little cherry logo just here. Nice little touch. And then we come into the uh, the foam portion of this build. So. They've given you lots of options of foams to be able to uh, to be used in this. So the first foam is your standard uh, between between the plate and the PCB foam. Uh, the client tonight's not decided that he doesn't want this. Um, there's varying opinions of this actually on the um, the jelly, and quite a lot of people have said that it um, uh, doesn't improve it if you're using JWK switches. So we're not going to be using it. This is the, the actual case foam itself. So this, this is the foam that goes between the PCB and the bottom of the case. Uh, we are going to be using this. Um, this is used to prevent shorting, um, prevent shorting of the PCB um, against the case. Um, and I'm not 100% sure what this is, but I'm assuming this is to stop the, um, uh, to stop it shorting as well. Um, I'm assuming that it's to prevent um, prevent it if you're not going to be using this foam. But we'll put this foam over here to the side for now. And we'll put the little pad over here. So this is the bits that we are going to use. Uh, it's the same bits, but this is, um, this is the polycarbonate plate. Again, with the lovely OWL logoing in design. And then we have got the second PCB. So this is an identical, to, uh, identical PCB to the first one. And it's got like a little QC, little QC pass sticker on there, on the actual PCB itself. So I'll put that off to the side. Uh, all very nicely packaged, I have to say. It's got some quite decent, decent thickness foam. It's a, uh, um, what would it be? It's quite um, quite dense foam. Um, perfect for um, perfect for if it will be dropped. To be fair. Uh, so this is what it uh, the case originally came in. There was no chance of getting it back in there after taking it back out after taking a look. But this is 
what it comes in. You can see, you can see the padding that they've used. You can place this down onto the desk. You can see the padding that they've used. Decent amount of padding, um, slightly layered as well. Keep it nice and secure. So what we've got here is they've shrink wrapped all of the bits. You can see the beautiful weight on the underside there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart. If I sound a little bit ropey this evening, it is because I have a cold. Um, there's no need to worry for this build though. I've got um, some isopropyl alcohol and I'm gonna be cleaning it down with after I'm finished. And also, not to worry as well, it is not coronavirus. Um, me and my wife, we did the rapid flow testing uh, earlier this week when I first got ill and he came back negative. So, more than happy that I'm not ill with corona. So, I already know that I'm going to get a bunch of fingerprints on the, uh, the anode. It is a lovely anode. No banding whatsoever. This is your little accessories bag. So this looks like to have a little JST connector in there. Um, what look to be um, FR4 pieces. I can't see very well through there. Um, lots of pads. Um, I'm assuming all of the gasket material that's in there. Um, and what it looks like, we also have a, another another uh, case phone piece. So again, we're not going to need to use that this evening. So we'll put that over there for now. So one of the first jobs that I'm going to do is we're going to open this up and we are going to get um, going to get the uh, case leads out. Uh, just in case there's something on the desk, I don't want to end up scratching the front of the board. So there are two thin strips, and then there is two dotted ones. Make it somewhere. So these are all of the gasket tabs. So there are two dot ones. So I'm going to keep this all together for now. And it is going to be a learning process as we put this all together. A couple more here. Um, because this is the first uh, jelly I've built. So it's going to be a new process of putting all of these things together. So, we've got a beautiful Jelly Epoch, little Epoch logo there that sticks out. Sticks out probably half a centimetre, something like that. Look at that weight on the underside. Beautiful. There is going to be a bunch of fingerprints on the bottom of this, and the camera is really struggling. Oh, there we go. The little stalk of the cherry almost looks like it's uh, engraved slightly more than the rest of it. It's an interesting, uh, interesting piece. But you know, a lovely board overall. Going to need. <laughs> you can see how many fingerprints are getting, I'm getting on this already. Crazy amount of fingerprints. I am trying to limit the amount of touching that I'm doing. So it's going to happen. Just give it a wipe down a Okay, so the first job that I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and we're going to get some case feet onto the onto this. 
So I do not want to be um, placing this down hard on something. So we've got these little straight feet here. Oh. There we go, camera. Oh, the camera is not liking the uh, jelly logo. Let's pull it this way a little. There we go. It's not liking the jelly logo for some reason. Okay. So we've got these little straight feet here. You can see them here. Little straight feet. And so they just go on the bottom here. The other one done as well. This one in here. There we go. And lift straight up. There it down. So what we can see in here is we've got another one of these sheets. Another one of these sheets that is to be used. Um, I'm not exactly sure where where it's to be used. Looks like it goes underneath the uh, the plate and PCB. So we'll put it across over here for now, and we'll put the other one over here. There. So let's check the guide. So the guide says to disassemble it, it first starts to put the safety put bonbons on, and then we've got some Torx bits. Hi, oh, was was how you doing? T8, T9. So what is my T8 bits? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Oh no, that's not the right size one. Put it down one foot. There we go. Just trying to get this these side pieces undone. Yeah, I could be doing better. I could be I could be full fully well, but uh so we're just, I'm just lay this down gently. Just taking the side screws out of it. I believe this is going to detach the weight from it. How have you enjoyed the bank holiday? Is it a busy bank holiday or a uh, quiet bank holiday? in here as we go yeah as I thought it's gonna release the weight the weight looks to have something attached to it as well just carefully and delicately oh rather quiet have it so uh, yeah it's been very quiet for me um, uh, being ill I don't particularly want to go out at the moment so Why has my camera decided that it's going to turn itself off? There it goes. The camera has just decided that it no longer wants to be turned on. Wait, well, has the door support? Yeah, I thought it might be as such. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why that happened there. Okay, so really? Ah, uh, yes, bloody hell! That is a whopping great big bit of um, brass. That's some. That's some real heft to it. 
Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna place this off of uh, off camera. In just a chair, so it's nice and delicately put there. Okay, so we're following the guide here. Continuing to follow the guide. Okay, so those rubber bits are still there. That's fine. It says to take the door to point A. So we need a even smaller bit. There's a hex bit, this one. And what does it say? A 1.3 hex bit, jeez. Screws for the door to board itself. Apparently there's a process to get into the case. What we're going to do is we're going to lay this nicely on top of the weight. Oh, some RGB, some LEDs in there. It must be how they, uh, they light it so nicely. I'm also going to remove this. Added section. Place all of this as we go. Certainly beautiful looking board. Um, the uh, the anode finish on this is very very nice. There's, there's zero banding on it. It's all a very consistent color. Um, something you can't say for all all things that come from KVD fans. Okay, so we remove that, and so it says that this whole side piece. This whole piece should come up, but on earth you Oh it's it's an awful lot lighter now that it doesn't have that weight in, installed into it. Okay, we're gonna place this over here. Okay. So we're now we're left with the internal mechanisms. What an interesting piece that is. So now it's saying to take the PCB and we get to have all of the fun with the PCB now. Unless it's just on the train. So let's get our PCB. But it oh, was was, it's certainly an interesting design to say the very least. It's uh it's got a lot of facets to it to get actually into the case. So here is the PCB. And what we're going to do, I'll show you the PCB. This is the PCB itself. See a nice little QC pass sticker here on the bottom there. I don't know if it's going to show too well. QC passed, which is good. It's got an awful lot of flex cutouts to it, which I like to see. And we're going to get the fun of snapping this top and bottom section off, which is always scary. But look at the flex on that. Look at the flex cutouts on that, eh? Initially, uh, I wasn't interested in the release, but uh, it grew on me. Yeah, and it's, it's certainly an interesting board. The um, uh, the weight design is is fairly interesting. I like the uh, I like the exposed weight design. Okay, so this says it might need pliers. So let's get some pliers out. It says gloves or pliers, so we're going to go with pliers. So what we've got to do is, you can see this little little piece here, this little piece here. They both could be snapped off. I hate doing this process. Especially scary on there, yeah. 
flexible board. He's coming there. Is the um, music level a decent level, or does it need to be a little bit louder, do you think? Level's good in my opinion, okay. the two pieces off. I do like how it says in the guide, it says, and take uh, take off the breakaway strips on the side with gloves or pliers, and in brackets, why the FK there uh, are those strips? So, so somebody has obviously managed to edit it, request edit, and put that in there, which is quite entertaining. So now that we've got our, um, our PCB here, what we're going to do is we're just going to prep the PCB. Uh, it says that it says there is a bunch of stuff here about um, connecting the JST connector and stuff like that. It says um, I need to connect the JST connector to here and and all of that. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna build this first and then go through that process. Um, the main main bit is is that it's not shorting, but um, we're not going to be able to know about that until we've actually we actually start to put the board together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this prepped. Um, we're going to get uh, some hockey tape put on it, um, and we're going to get the board somewhat built. Uh, get some solder put down and stuff like that, and then go from there. Really, so get some drink. Little, little thing though. Um, oh, was was you did say that you wanted this hockey tape modding, and you you weren't sending me a message saying you didn't want a hockey tape modding, right? You want a hockey tape modding or plaster modding, I think. I think you might have said band aid modding. Uh, I do want it, yes, perfect, perfect. Brain has been uh, somewhat turned off over the last few days because of this cold. So what we're doing here, uh, you also do the whole holy mod on the stabs. Uh, I have attempted the holy mod. I don't rate it. Um, I don't rate it at all. I think just adding better, um, thicker lube works much, much better than the holy mod. Um, I'm using I'm using a, uh, a PTFE grade two lube uh, in mine, which is quite thick stuff, but um, it gets rid of rattle entirely. And I generally find that when I have done that, I I, I was doing the, a, a similar style of the holy mod a long time ago, and what generally happens is the lube permeates the. Um, the sticky tape or the band-aid stuff that you put in there and it comes loose um, um, you generally have a little piece of stuff flapping about in there and I didn't rate it 
and it didn't make that much of a difference in sound ca characteristics anyway. Um, I think 205 grade zero is not good enough for stabs anymore. I think you've got to be going for something like a grade two or something even thicker than that, like whatever the aerospace grade one is. What will you be using on the stabs today? So I've already made the stabs up for you. Um, so I'm using, I'll show you exactly what I'm using in a second. So I'm using what is a super, uh, super loop. Uh, so which one is it? It's the 21030. So it's a, you can see there, it's a grade two super loop. Um, I have it in a, it's the vial of it. I've got a vial of it here. And you can see, you can see I can hold this upside down and it's not gonna run at all. I mean, it was, it's been lying upside down for ages. Um, it's quite a thick, quite a thick loop, so. Uh, it's my go-to um, for um, lubricating stabs. That's what I've looped all of my stabs with. And, um, but after you get them dialed in nicely, they're perfect. I, for your stabs, I have um, uh, straightened the um, space bar out. Right? Um, there was a little uh, bend in the space bar. So that's now strained. Um, so you should not have any problems with that. Let's see where this goes. Back and left. Covered. Yeah, I think that lube does a fairly decent job of. Um, Sorting out the stabs, but if you've if it still rattles after you've lubed them well, normally it means either the space bar is warped or the um, the space bar wire is actually um, screwed as well. And you can find that if you think the space bar wire sits like this, you can find that it's like that almost. They're bent out of alignment and only only ever so slightly, but it only needs to be only ever so slightly for it to um, to completely ruin it. So. Okay, so now that we've got those in place, we have got our stabilizers. So you can see that, you can probably see, I've used a fairly generous amount of lube on these. Um, and it's because it doesn't really affect the, um, like the movement of them. It affects the sand dampening of them a bit more. And so I've generally found that they move up and down completely fine. Um, no issues um, but the more lube that I've added um, the better that they've sounded more more uh, closely to the um, more closely to the uh, alpha keys basically uh, hello Gauti how you doing Better than you said. Yeah, I'm. I'm not very well at the minute. Becca is. Becca is. Um, I would like to say that Becca is slightly worse than I am at the moment. I, I'm at the tail end of this cold. Um, I was feeling really like death earlier this week. Um, 
but I've gotten through it and now it's literally all just all just in my nose. But I'll be feeling better in a couple of days. So I did a build um, the other day um, for a client, uh, which wasn't on stream um, in the end. It was when the um, my stream broke, basically. Uh, my camera broke, basically. Um, but um, we built that with, um, what did we build that with? That was, poly, uh, that was a polycarbonate plate and um, uh, tangerines. And they sounded incredible in that board. Um, Bocky, nice. So that's what I'm hoping this board is good to sound like, because if it does, it'll sound top notch. <laughs> Drink all the Beecham's. There isn't enough Beecham's in the world to make me feel better at the minute. But I do have some, um, I do have some cough medicine in the other room. How are you doing, there, Gatti? Are you um, are you home? Or are you still away? Oh, okay. Yeah, got home a little while ago. Oh, nice. How are the roads? Are they absolutely mental? There was a um, there was a big report about um, four o'clock on I think it was four o'clock on Friday that the M25 was had like a three or four hour delay on it or something like that because of all the people trying to get away for the uh, bank holiday. Sort of hilarious, really. You try and get away early and you end up just hitting traffic even harder. little traffic around Stonehenge but I forgot uh, to follow the GPS and take the side roads wasn't too bad but, uh, I mean there's always traffic around Stonehenge it's a crazily busy bit of road yeah there is an awful lot of parts to this board uh, so it's an exposed it's got an exposed weight and then the weight attaches to the bottom and then there's a daughter board that attaches to the bottom as well. It's quite complex. Um, I've got the build guide here to make sure that I don't don't completely go off the rails here and try and build it freehand sort of thing. But um, there is a lot of parts to do with the gasket mounting. This is for a customer. This is Owozwoz who's in the chat. Um, I had no chance of getting hold of one of these. Um, they sold out in seconds, these things. Yeah, it's not a TKL, so I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, you can see the... Uh, you can see the TKL wall growing. I've got three TKLs on the on the way. Well, but I have been looking around for a nice seventy-five percent for a little while. So this one did. I did have a look at it for a little while. Well, but I, I prefer the one that I'm going to be building on next stream um, to this one. I won't tell you what it is yet though. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to get the plate and we're just gonna make sure that there's no issues with the uh, stabs with the plate. I'm hoping I'm hoping not.
Maybe with no tight spots. Oh, helps if I put it on the right way around. No tight spots. Perfect. So the plate's got like a little, I don't know if you can see that particularly well, but it's like slightly frosted, frosted finish to it. Quite a nice little finish to it. So this is the polycarbonate plate that we're going to be using. So what we have got today is I've gone through and lubed all of these. So these are JT, uh, JWK uh, Duroc linears. So these are the POM linears. I've got the details up here. So these are the JWK um, piano switches. And these are, these are POM housings, uh, gold plate springs, uh, 63.5 gram uh, springs. And they have got a mystery, mystery material for the stem. So, mystery material for the stem. From my look of this, I think that the stem is made of UHMWPE. I think it is. It has the same characteristics as it. Um, it looks nearly identical to the ones that I had previously. So I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I'm not sure why they won't say what it is. Maybe UHMWP's got a bad rap because of um, um, because of the what are they the ones that are being sold on drop at the moment or were being sold on drop um, that didn't end up coming out particularly well. So maybe maybe that's why they're trying to hide it. But these feel very good actually. They feel very very smooth. Uh, no issues with the um, uh, no issues with the tolerances or anything like that. Uh, wonder why they decided to go with uh, a plate. Well, to be fair, I mean, I mean, they've got a fair amount of flex to these things. Um, plate this would have been interesting. Um, it would have been even more interesting if they'd gone for like a half plate or something like that. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of these switches in. Place. I'm going to try and get some of the stabilized switches in place um, so that we can um, uh, make sure that they're working a okay. Half plate wasn't available, that's a shame. Uh, with it, with flex like this, it would have been nice to, nice to have seen a half plate. Um, as Gucci says, dremeled, but I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't want anything dremeled. Uh, not on something this nice. So we're going to get the outside ones done first, and then we'll move inwards from there. Um, this is going to be done in ISO UK layout with a 6.25U bottom uh, bottom row. So your sort of standard some row, I guess. The only thing that is always scary when when you're placing switches into these things, how much how much flex you have with them. That's the only scary thing. So you've got to make sure when you push it into something like this that you support the row. Very easy to overflex the PCB. Put that one to the side. That one has a bit of a um, wedged, wedged bottom. Hi, Curious Yellow. How you doing? Curious yellow, you are yellow on my stream. Happy days. Now, if it's gasket mode, you probably made the right decision going with the full plate. Well, um, I assume that you you probably do need it for the uh, for the support, but it'd be interesting to see a um, uh, a half plate on a gasket mount. Uh, 
Uh, you're good. I, I'm not too bad. Uh, you can probably hear from my voice that I'm a little bit ill at the moment. Got a cold at the minute. Oh, <laughs> I haven't updated that. Um, I need to. I'll need. I'll need to update that later. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so this is a, um, a jelly epoch with um, piano uh, J uh, JWK switches. Um, these piano switches have been lubed with 205 uh, grade zero. Um, they've got stock springs in them. Uh, the springs sound great to be fair. Um, uh, personal build. Uh, no, no, this is um, uh, this is O was was is in the chat. Um, he sent this through for me to build. I've built a couple of boards for him in the past. Um, he seems to like my uh, building style, so. Uh, see you later, Goody. Have a good one. Hung over after the Champions League. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even know the Champions League was on, to be fair. So how little I watch football. The only problem that I always find with um, uh, these sort of plates is that when you put when you're putting stuff into the PCB, you have a tendency to it has a tendency to flex the rim plate out of the way, which is a real pain in the ass. Barbecue when? Ooh, I'm feeling better, um, no doubt, but. Um, but until then, I'm not sure. Soon, though. Soon. Would like a nice barbecue soon. I think it'll be in the prem before you know it. You. Even then, not a uh, my uncle's a Reading supporter. I don't watch any football at all, though. Near bothered. But what have you done this on this lovely bank holiday? Then curious yellow. Been asking everybody what they've been up to. Oh, you want to have a look at the switch puller, do you? Yeah, it's very nice. I wish I'd gotten the grey instead of the uh, blue. There you go. That's the switch puller. It's a nice bit of kit. It's pretty, pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy bit of kit. It's nice. Very, very solid. I'm using it over the um, free one that I got given by Taobao back in the day. I got given a whole bunch of these little uh, green ones from Taobao when I made a big order. Um, cream swap. Uh, I've, I mean, I've, I've sold my own for the keyport, and it's what's going to be going on this board. Um, I was was wanted um, was look on the lookout for some more caps. He needed some more caps, and I happened to need that. For some reason, the camera is turning itself off at the moment. Um, I'm going to have to just flick it back on, but I'll have to sort it out um, for next stream. I'm not sure why um, it shouldn't be turning itself off. Uh, he wanted stepped caps to me.
that's the blue, is it? Uh, sorry, what do you mean? That's uh, oh yeah, sorry. This is the blue one. Yeah, this is the um, blue titanium finish. Um, and there's a mini, aren't they? The full palm ones. So no, these are um, you, they are linears. Uh, but they're not the full pom ones, so they are pom housings with a myster uh, mystery. Um, it says mystery, mystery, mystery material stem. That's a tongue twister. That bloody is. Um, and just before, I was saying that um, uh, that I think the mystery material is um, uh, UHMWPE. Um, it looks like it, it sort of feels like it. I'm pretty sure that it was. It's just the colour that's not the best with Infinity sets. Uh, no, I think Infinity Port is actually a really nice set. Um, really nice colour for the set. Um, it's not as burgundy as the renders had it, but um, it's it's a bit more purpley, I guess. Um, the white on black isn't isn't nearly as good though. The white on black is more um, sort of like a dark grey on uh, dark grey, a uh, white on dark grey, even white on black. Sorry. So it's not it's not quite as good, but the upside to JWK is that it makes everything sound incredible. It just adds thock to the. Um, to the sand. Yeah, I think people weren't happy with them because it wasn't wasn't exactly the colour. Um, I bought I bought my set after the group buy, um, and I bought it specifically because it wasn't the same colour. Um, I I preferred the purple. Um, and that was the reason that I bought it at the time. Um, I I did also need a keycap set short term until um, uh, until I had something come through in the post, which unfortunately hasn't turned up yet. Um, it should be here soon. <laughs> Wine in a box than port. No, that's quite a good one. I remember that one. I honestly think that, um, that it's it's a nice colour. Um, if they'd if they'd advertised it as this colour, then it would have I think it would have sold pretty well anyway. Um, Which wants to pop out. I'm just waiting on two sets, 8008 2 and Kojira. Oh, nice. I'm waiting. How many sets am I waiting on? I'm waiting on three sets now. Got. Um, what have I got? Modern Dodge 2. I've got Cat Lucky Jade and Cat Atlantis. They're the sets that I'm waiting on now. And I have, I have three boards coming and three boards waiting for keycaps. Well, I will have three boards waiting for keycaps, I should say. Don't have them yet. A bit harder than the rest. Ain't buying any more GMK. How come you're not buying any more GMK? has bent. There's. 
I'd, I'd happily buy more of the MK sets if the uh, if the timeline wasn't anywhere near as high as it is at the moment. No. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. There's <laughs> one of the switches just popped out of nowhere there. Just launched itself. I'll grab that after the stream. It's a. Uh, there is a box under my desk at the moment and it has gone straight into the box. I'll dig that out in a minute. I say in a minute after the shrimp. Use the laser. Pretty sure my taste will have changed by the time the stuff ships. Not delays, shipping dates. Yeah. Unfortunately the these that there's there is huge delays. I mean modern Dolch is hugely delayed. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but I bought that set because I missed the Rand 1 of it and I really wish that I'd bought the Rand 1. Um, so it was a bit of a no-brainer really for that one. Um, getting there. Um, I've got the two I've got two of the stabilized keys in place. I'm going to I'm going to get the port space bar. I've got the port space bar, um, space bar port uh, keycap here yeah, just off the that screen. What you need. We're not going with this space bar. We're not going with the standard one. We are going not with that one either. I will need you out. getting these three keys out so that um, I can just test the stabilized keys. Um, I want to make sure that they are perfect. <laughs> and I, I agree um, I agree that the the color matching that they had on it wasn't great but was was if you're there which way do you have your space bar flipped or normal into my mood um, what would you what would you prefer it to be Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and tune, uh, I'll try and tune the space bar a little bit more for which way brand you want it. Uh, EO87 was flipped, KBD75, V2 was normal. Okay. Um, I could build this one flipped. Flipped, I think. Okay. I'll put it on flipped and I think you should be able to change it. But you will be able to change it afterwards. Oh, yeah. These stamps are very tight. It's on there nicely, that is. Only concern now is I'm going to pull it up and it's not going to run, so it'll never go nicely. 
Sorry. I don't know if you can hear that very well. Hey Jordan, how you doing? I think I probably have to talk a little whilst I do this. They are sounding nice. Okay, so my only concern here is that when I pull this space bar up, it's going to make merry hell on everything. That face comes up, one. Buying the Tomo, I, I had a look at the Tomo. I thought about it, but it's not a TKL, so no. Bloody hellfire. That is on their side. All right, let's get these keys back in place. Promoted me on Salvin's, Salvin's channel. Very nice, thank you very much, Jordan. If you're up for some Apex later this evening, I might be about. It, it is now giving me nothing but, um, uh, nothing but um, arena tasks. The apex <laughs> couldn't contain your couldn't uh, contain your excitement there. Eh? Is this the hot one? Uh, no, this isn't. This is the solderable one. Uh, so the client has specifically bought two lots of the solderable one. Um, uh, you're all about the Norbaz, aren't you? Gucci life. Yeah. So that's my my new Norbaz case. And then just off of script off the screen is my polycarp not bad. You posted the stream in the jelly bean popcorn. Oof, there's gonna be an awful lot of people in here salt salty in a minute. But they didn't manage to get one. I'm just gonna finish putting these switches in. Having fun with polycarbonate plates. Hi, hi, hello, how are you doing? Living switches for your own right now. Very nice, very nice. Wait, what switches are you going to put into yours? So, the switches that are in here are um, Duroc uh, or JWK uh, piano um, switches. So, these are 63.5 gram uh, JWK linears. And they are POM housings with um, a mystery, mystery material stem. Um, and I said said earlier, I'm pretty sure it's UHMWPE. But these have been lubed with 205 grade zero, and they are crazy smooth now. Um, uh, I've got Jurok POMs and Boba U40. I haven't tried any of the Bobby U40s yet. Um, everybody's raving about them. And I'm partially thinking that maybe I'm gonna need to buy some. Wish my jelly was here, have to wait until next week. Ooh. It'll be a fun build when you get to build, do get to finally build it. It is a solid, solid board. The weight is crazy. People in the server asked if you could make a video of the typing test of the channel. I, I will have a typing test of this video done after the trim. Um, I think if you hit exclamation YouTube, I think it might take you to my YouTube channel. Um, I can't remember the I can't remember the commands. I haven't streamed in a little while. Um, but try exclamation YouTube and um, that should take you to my YouTube channel uh, and it'll be where all of my previous streams have put but also um, where all my typing test videos go. Uh, there is going to be a couple going up from soon. There you go. There's my YouTube. Um, so yeah, there's, um, there's going to be a couple going up because I've got my uh, Norba uh, Normal force to go up 
um, as I've now finished that one. Um, so I'm going to be doing a typing test video probably this evening. What are the pictures in the background? Oh, what are these ones? So this is a cityscape of London, and this one is, the other one is like a, a crow's view of um, a bird's eye view of um, London. Uh, my wife bought them for for me for, um, for my birthday present uh, a couple of years ago now actually. And there's another one on the wall, like in front of me here. That's a little black and white one. They're from a um, uh, from a what is it? Bath-based artist called uh, Firewater Studios. Good evening, crab. How are you doing? Sorry if I sound a little bit. Um, oh, bloody hell! Uh, Finn Go Gonner. Finn Gunner. Good evening. Thank you for the follow. Uh, sorry if I sound a little bit groggy. Um, I have got a cold at the moment. Oh, bloody hell! Uh, Mahanus Maunes If you want bird's eye view uh, of Farnham City Centre, let me know. Ooh, that would be kind of cool. How do you know I live near there? to buy so, 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 the, you know, the second person that's mentioned this so this little apparently this little switch puller is is somewhat rare um, yeah I got the titanium blue one um, it's nice I want the titanium gray one um, I've got a watch uh, this one it's actually made from made from titanium uh, and um, I want I, I wanted it to match um, which probably sounds like first world problems, but um, I mean, I wanted it to match. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't laugh too much because I end up coughing up a lung. They'll be back in stock soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be buying the. Um, I'm going to be buying the normal grey one. Sold whilst you're in checkout. Oh. Placement Joshua, I'm very well. It is going well. We are getting the switches into into the plate and PCB combo. Uh, going pretty well. I need to check the um, need to check the bottom row for this because it's 1.25 views across the bottom row, I believe. Yeah, it's 1.25 views. So let me get a few 1.25 view keys out here. Just to make sure we are placing them in the right positions. And uh, the one I ordered from MK is stuck. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I've got so much stuff stuck at mykeyboard.eu at the moment. Um, I've got like three desk mats. Um, I've got a Rama key stuck there as well. Um, but hopefully that's all going to get moving as soon as Lucky Jade turns up. Because as soon as Lucky Jade turns up, everything starts moving very quickly for, for my um, for my stuff. Okay, so let's have a look. I think this is going to be all left hand column. The friend. Let's pull our orders. Well, I mean, if you if you wanted to pull your order, you're more than welcome to. Um, albeit, Lucky Jade is on its way to uh, mykeyboards.eu with um, with nothing on the horizon of actually being there. But you're more than welcome to if you wanted to do that. 
You're just down the road. Where are you? Where are you based? You can, you've mentioned a few times places that are local to me. I'm not. I'm not sure where you are. Lucky for me, uh, I've only got um, the other GB GB Uwu Desmet stuck there. Yeah, I mean that's not too bad, I guess. I mean, it sucks that we're having to wait for all of this stuff to now turn up, but. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, all of the switches are now in. Yellow, if you want to PM me um, on Discord, I think you've got me on Discord anyway. Um, send me a message and we can talk about calling, calling your orders. Um, Lucky Jade should be Oh, you're close to Farnham. Okay, you're very close to me then. I didn't realise you were close to Farnham, to be fair. Um, uh, yeah, if you want to pull your orders, um, you're more than welcome to. Um, makes things easier. I I don't mind at all. Bought six desk mats uh, just to try to get the ones I want and sell off the rest of my friends. Beat the system from Mikey was the ear. Oof. Oof. What, what was the value of your order? Isn't it anything under 135 euros? Is like trapped currently. Which is big oofs. It was 140. Is that 145 then? Um, Mikey was that you stock and stuff. I think it was 135 euros. Might be 145, but I look on their site and it's right at the very top. Yeah, so anything under 135 euros isn't being shipped. Um, but anything over 135 is being shipped, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think 100. And I think it's. Or was it 195? Yeah, I'm wait, I'm waiting for Modo Two as well, Josh. Um, it's been it's been delayed till um, Q3 this year, I think. I think I saw the other day. Which sucks, but 135 Great British pounds. Ah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is all of the switches are in place and they're nicely, nicely in place. We are going to fire up the old soldering iron. I went to 280 degrees. Key gem is fantastic in, sh uh, in, ship uh, in terms of shipping communication. That's good. This is a lot of places as soon as you get the order in it, then they don't really care. Okay, I'll keep this here for now. Might not be, might need it. Agree, perfect communication with them. Mm -hmm. I have to make an order with the key gen then. I bought it when uh, I got into sixth form. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy that I bought it. I'm very happy that I bought it, to be fair. Um, I've, I've wanted Modo 2 for ages um, and I kept looking at the aftermarket prices being like maybe I can justify it maybe maybe and when it came uh, when it got released I was like okay I'm buying like loads of sets I think I've got three or four sets coming for it I mean when I say three or four sets I don't mean like three lots of the base set I mean I think I've got the base, the space bars, the aesthetics, and then there is another kit. I can't remember which one.
that key set is going to end up on a very special board. Which Jordan is still sat here. I'm hoping it's only going to be a few weeks away. That's my hope at least. And if not, can you go beat him over the head a bit for me? I can, I can barely see your um, uh, 01 Ravens uh, name there because it's blue on dark blue on black on my screen. Uh, is it the dewdrop? No, it isn't. This is the ink. I think my order is around the 100 euro mark and was thinking of adding more things but haven't got enough. I was just about to... I mean, uh, Curious Yellow, if you want to add it to my order, my order for Lucky Jade is like 280 euros or something. So I'm well over the limit. I bought extra bits and pieces. I bought extra desk mats and um, for that I've got, I've got stupid amounts of stuff. I've got uh, standard alpha, uh, standard alphas, text mods, icon mods, the TKL part of it. I've got the novelties package. I've got the Rama cap. I've got the, there's like seven, seven kits that I've bought for that thing. Something else that I bought for it. I think I had to buy the ISO kit for it, so I bought the ISO kit. There was just a bunch of stuff. Uh, um, Q3 is Modo. Um, Lucky Jade is currently on its way to mykeyboards.eu. So as soon as it arrives, they should be shipping it out to me. If you're on Ren's server, you can go into the Lucky Jade channel and you can see um, people who bought it from Z Frontier who've already got it. Lucky bunch of lucky buggers. Desk mats, I'm pretty sure. I mean, again, Smudge, uh, Josh, um, you're more than welcome to. We're more than welcome to try and combine orders if you want to to get it into the country. Um, obviously, we might well end up having to pay um, uh, splitting the import duty, and I might have to work out some like calculations of working out working that out. But um, send me a message on Discord if you want to, if you if you're interested in that. And I can get I can get a few people together, and um, I can have a chat with David from mykeyboards.eu about combining our orders together. Um, might make life a little bit easier at the very least. Oh, you you oh you bought Modo. Okay, I I, I thought. Um, uh, you might want your desk mats early or something like that. No, oh, bloody hell. Hello, Salvin. Hello. Where is the scotch? Uh, if I move my head, it's behind me there. Albeit, I'm not drinking scotch at the moment. You can probably hear from my voice uh, that I'm ill. Uh, I tried to have a dram of that last night and I literally couldn't taste a thing. Oh, bollocks off my camera. There we go. I literally couldn't taste it. You, you've come here and you've ruined this for me. You've ruined this. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to turn this up. Set up. There we go. <laughs> yeah, pro, pro streamer in the making. I mean, I've got a Makita in the garden. Uh, 
Now, for some reason, the camera is going a bit funny at the moment. Um, the DSLR keeps turning itself off. Uh, so, exclamation setup. Uh, I'm currently above me is a 5D Mark IV with a 17 to 40L L, uh, L lens attached to it. Um, going to an El Ghetto um, Camlink 4K. But for some reason, the um, for some reason the camera is turning itself off every sort of half hour. Um, so I think I've probably fiddled with the setting and it's broken, unfortunately. And then the front facing camera is a Canon, the Canon uh, a Logitech C, whatever the normal one people use is, I can't remember the name of it, C920? C920. <laughs> a lovely pink filter, yeah. But for some reason, the cam link um, sometimes just takes it and turns it pink for some reason. On the camera side, it's it's normal colours. Um, I'm still trying to work out why it does it. So Salvin, you must have heard me t talking about you. Uh, yeah, the webcam is a Logitech C920, whatever the 1080p 60 frames per second camera is that they sell. I want to get the um, I want to get the 4K one, but I'm not willing to pay silly, silly, silly money for it right now. Maybe after COVID, um, I'll buy that when prices are going back down to normal. Pick it up for like 80 pound or something. Uh, white balance issue. No, it shouldn't be a white balance issue. It's um, it's not the camera itself, it's just the El Gato uh, cam link. So it's it's either something to do with the, um, the HDMI connection that's coming out of it, or it's something to do with the, um, the actual cam link itself, or the software itself. One of the two. One of the two. Guys, I might just need to quick nip to the WAS for a WAS, um, but I will be right back. Talk to you guys in a minute.
Okay, and we're back. Uh, just get an old iPhone and a shutter, shutter cast 4K sorted. Unfortunately, I don't have any old iPhones. I'm, uh, I'm not that middle class, unfortunately. I do have a uh, old OnePlus somewhere though. I was using it for my humidors, um, uh, humidors monitoring, but um, I've got new little bits and pieces for that, so could use something like that. But then again, I am down resing this camera like mad. It's like way, 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 way down. I want to say it's like 600 pixels by 800 pixels or something like that. 480 by 800, maybe? I mean, it's way down, so. How is everybody's um, Monday doing? For those who are in the UK, how is your bank holiday Monday? Um, for those outside of the UK, um, we have two bank holidays in May, one right at the very beginning and one right at the very end. However, I have been ill and uh, not been able to enjoy the bank holiday. I've been sat around doing it like very little. About sixty pounds these days for an iPhone six. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, I can afford to get something like that. Halfway here on the soldering. The soldering going pretty easily. They've been pinned so far. So there's a few people here who've got jelly epochs coming, is that right? If so, what colour do you have? Uh, and what are you going to be building into them? Interesting to know. I looked at the Jelly Epoch for a very short amount of time and attempted to buy it. Didn't get anywhere with the checkout. Gave up fairly shortly after. That was my uh, Jelly Epoch buying experience, but you guys have all got yours. So now that you've got them, what are you gonna be building them with? Holidays being good, need to get, uh, do something more productive. Something productive in a minute. What, what being more productive have you got to do? Very nondescript. I finished soldering this we're going to get to have all of the fun of attempting to build the jelly epoch with um with all of its mounting system and everything it took gaskets but i believe the gaskets slide over these over these little tabs I'd be interested to see exactly how that works
low cost and wrong. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, I started a MOOC at the beginning of the year. I need to finish it. What is an MOOC? Monsters of Ornithological Culture? Miniature octopus oscilloscope collection? I don't know. Good to hear, Cousin Rob. How was your uh, weekend? And if you're in the UK, how has your bank holiday Monday been? Massive open online course. Okay, you're going to have to go into a bit more detail about that. So, what what is this course on? Massive open online course. Through your thing sounds good. <laughs> I'll I'll start the group for uh, the uh, miniature octopuses fairly shortly. So if you guys can hear that dog barking in the background when I speak. Well, the woofy neighbor's dog. Oh, it's a computer science one, CS50. Oh, okay, okay. When you say CS50, are you... What, what, what is that based on? I don't know what CS50 is, to be fair. What sort of stuff are you doing? I assume CS50 is. Okay, I'll have a look at that in a little bit. I haven't got a... Um, or anything like that and if it starts playing sound it'll um, come through onto the screen. I want to be DMCA'd by uh, harvard.edu So for those that are still watching um, there will be a typing test of this uh, done at the end of the stream um, but there will also be one on my YouTube channel uh, so if you hit exclamation point YouTube in the chat, uh, it'll take you through to my YouTube channel where I upload all of my streams. The full stream will be uploaded onto there, but also um, the uh, typing tests. This board and all of the other boards that I've done will be going up there as well. So you can get an idea of exactly how this will sound. Hoping for good things with this. Um, the mounting mechanism looks kind of interesting. So. Arrays, hash maps, that sort of thing. Okay, okay. Sounds interesting. So have you just started that course, or are you sort of middle of middle of it or something? And also, 
learning on a bank holiday Monday. We do such a thing. I see the Discord message has just come through. Near the middle. Oh, that's good, that's good. So is there, is there an exam at the end of it or is it all coursework based? Been a little while since I did my computer science degree. Look at me, we can barely keep a camera going. Says the man working on the bank holiday. Yeah, yeah, you, you are right to be fair. You are right. This this was supposed to be streamed on Saturday, but um the the cold is at a magnitude five now. On Saturday it was probably eight or nine. It was really bad on Saturday. I was like on for, on the Friday I had to go into um into town to go get something from one of the shops and I nearly ran out of it because it was like um the mask wearing the mask was just like too much at the time. Um with a cold and everything. I just felt terrible. And I woke up on Saturday about, what time? Two, three o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. It was, yeah, just written off. Also, pretty simple. Oh, that's good. I, I, I'm i much sure about coursework um, than uh, exams. I was never any good at exams. I was always a coursework based person. Memory of the sieve. Salton, are you still in the chat? If you're still in the chat, say hello. What do you do these days then? Uh, so I am the uh, head of IT. I say head of IT. I am, I am the IT department, one man band for a company. Um, so I do, um, I do literally everything for a company, um, from first line support to like website design, website development. I do an awful lot of stuff with the MSSQL databases that we've got. Um, if there needs to be a Google spreadsheet designing and making, uh, that's me. If Word happens to break and needs fixing, that's me. So, uh, this is the kind of rich streaming life, not pay the bills. I mean, I mean, not yet at the very least. Um, also, seeing as the fact that I'm not affiliated, partnered, um, yeah. I mean, it's nice to know that you guys are watching and sitting there and, and listening to me at the very least. But, uh, yeah. Just don't have enough time to be able to stream full time, unfortunately. Hi, Alex, how are you doing? I just got home from my sister's house, been helping put up a wooden climbing frame for my nephews all day. Very nice. Was the wooden wooden climbing frame up when you left and and or was it on fire? So 
So we've got it soldered in place. So there's no issues with any of the solder there. So I'm going to flip the iron off for now. So we're going to bring back up the Jelly Epoch guide. So what does it say that we have to do? So it's now saying that we need the JST connector. So we're going to get our JST. He's in this bag here somewhere. Okie dokie. It says top half. just that just places into there like so so that's our JST in place okay uh, get your bottom case and Put the case foam in. Okie dokie. So. It's me. It's me. Oh, there it is. There's that we need the case foam. So we need some of this stuff. I think I might have this back to front. You do a hot tub stream, you'll make partner in no time. I mean, I, when I streamed last, somebody mentioned about me doing a hot tub stream. Number one, I've probably got tits bigger than uh, most of the hot tub streamers out there at the moment. But also, I don't think a soldering iron being anywhere near water is probably a good idea. I think I'd likely electrocute myself very quickly. I've gone far, halfway up. That slide isn't operation, but swings for another day. Oh, no, that's not bad. Then. That's not bad. They're, they're, at least they can. The slide's operational. And that's probably the main bit. <laughs> yeah. So, so when, when you hear piano switch, what do you think? <laughs> Is it linear? Is it taxo? Oh, hi Bogon, how you doing? Was it a birthday party with my daughter? Uh, everyone seems to have birthdays nowadays. Yeah, it's that time of the year, it's that time of the year. Okay, so it says that we need to push this through. The the, the, the the guide for this is hilarious. It's like plug the JST cable into the daughter board, blah blah blah. And then here's the most scuffed part. <laughs> is <it>, what? <laughs> Whoever has decided to make this is just like not giving a shit as they've written it. Oh, it's optional, thank God for that. 
more than high enough. So halfway down the uh, halfway down the build guide, it says insert the shims into your um, into your stabilizers. What? <laughs> Thanks a lot for telling me earlier. Okay, okay, okay. Don't fill the PCB. Yeah, I think it is for, um, it's for the hot swap PCB, I believe. They're using shims. Sorry guys, I'm just reading through the... Um, are these modified Duracon piano switches or normal? These are um, modified, so these have been um, lubed with 205 grade zero and the springs have been lubed with 105. Um, makes them super duper smooth. You mean an enthusiast built product with a lower barrier to entry and a massive supply and demand problem? It's poorly documented the Paris thing. Well, it's, it's not the fact that it's been poorly documented, it's the fact that they've allowed some random person to add comments to it, and the comments are all hilarious. Don't flip the PCB to check though, gaskets might fall out. Okay, 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 so we're going to add these bits. So, wedge facing down, okay. So we've got these we've got these gaskets to install. And it says wedge facing down. You can see that one side is a lot thinner than the other. And so I'm assuming that when it says wedge facing down, that we put them on like so. So they're on like they're on like that. With the deeper side facing downwards. It says it specifically says not to flip these over because they might fall out, so I'm not going to try and fling them out too much. Don't build with a spoon either. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's fairly common sense, but maybe they should, maybe somebody should add that to the uh, to the build guide. happening I can, I can see why they say don't flip it over because they'll fall out they are relatively they're loose ish they're loose ish I wouldn't say that they're super loose maybe the one that whoever built it previously is like looser so there's two extras there it looks like this, if, if I'm honest this is how I thought gas like people would gasket mount stuff using little sort of almost like fingers to go on the end of these um it's uh, gasket mounting is nice i've typed on a few gasket mount boards and i'm coming around to it a bit more and more um but the sound isolation that you get from it and the vibration isolation is quite nice don't uh, don't flip over without being in zero g oh yeah <laughs> okay so we don't need the bottom piece of this case at the moment it's it's told me to put it there and then not need it so what it says is we need this top piece and we need some fairly small fairly small hex head Turning off camera. Have a look at the other ones he has got. 
So we're going to listen to some lo-fi type music. Uh, won't Sandwich Man give the same same isolation? You are using you are using rubber gaskets to hold it in place, basically instead. Uh, with the epoch tag, um, not sure it's that close to the epoch tag. If I'm honest, uh, so that's the epoch tag. Let me. Da -da -da -da. Not pro. It's not that close, if I'm honest. Um, this is like a light. It's like a gold, basically. I don't know if you can see that particularly well. It's gonna. That's like a gold, basically, um, and it's not that goldy. Let me get a camera. I'll show you. Show you what I'm saying. Maybe it's closer than maybe that's closer than we're making it to be. I guess we'll look at. So in the box. Maybe it is closer. I mean, I wouldn't say that's a million miles away. Are you going to? No, it's relatively close. Not perfect match, but close. Not a perfect match. Uh, what types are we using? We are using Infinity Port on this. Um, I was was bought, bought off of me, um, which is a really nice set. To be fair, it's a very underrated set. Just an awful lot of people jumped on the train of not liking it to begin with because it didn't colour match perfectly but I bought it afterwards because I, I preferred the colours of it yes yeah, so does that lift me? Yes, there's a bunch of shims here, which we really don't need to use because the PCB is more than thick enough for the um, stabilizers. I'm assuming the hot swap one is thinner, so. How can things be underrated in this hobby? The things are not sold out. I mean, um, Infinity Port has only just sold out. Um, and, um, but I do agree. Um, some things can be underrated. They can be sold out, but nobody wants them. But um, there is stuff like Modo and stuff like that, which is just nuts. I'm going to place this here for a second. I've just realised that it says don't flip it upside down. I'm going to have to flip it upside down. Yeah, that lines up. He is right there though. Yeah, it was a real shame to see that um, GMK Alchemy didn't make it. A very nice set that should have made it, that didn't make it unfortunately. No, they're both the guys who, um, who are a part of that. And I'm moving this bit of metal about and it is not wanting to sit together very well. Uh, 
Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's coming together. Some t shirts and it's stuck in there. Is it? Really, that's uh, that's a shame. The designer seemed uh, solid folk. Uh, it wasn't my cup of tea, though. Uh, decent t a chance of it shipping. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought so too. I thought um, I thought it was going to go continue going forwards. I was I was very surprised when they um, when it was announced that it wasn't happening. Feel for them. They they had made a solid product. Um, I think that it just being released with a lot of other big hitters this month and not a massive take up straight away really sort of damaged it. Um, yeah, I agree, Anarchy. It's um, but vendors nowadays, it's a real, um, real art on making sure that you're not sending a keycap set out to die. Um, making sure that um, when you do release it, it's not like there's 10 other big keycap sets that are out there at the same time in group buy because your one just won't get picked up. It's it, you just don't want it to be the same month that JMK Olivia 2 gets released, or or I don't know, wh whatever it is gets released again, m like Muted 3 or what have you. You just don't want to be in the same same month as that, basically. Okay. Yeah, this is going together fairly well. It's all in place now, so. Gump for my desk at the moment. I can clean this up a little bit. There we go, that's better. So it's in place. It's all in place now. But it's actually in the case itself. So what we need to do now. Okay, so I'm just going to place this back down. We now need to get the, I believe we need to get the back in place, or the bottom in place. So we're going to place this on here. Go back to here. We're not going to go entirely from what the um, build guide says here, because the build guide does seem to be saying some stupid bits. Doesn't seem to look like it fit more easily. That's all fine. It's a bit janky, this bit. first <sighs> I 
I don't think we needed much of that. Move into here. Anywhere near as much as that, much of that. What should we do is we're just gonna feed this through a bit, feed it back through. screws down onto that, perfect. We'll just catch up on chat now. Um, da -da -da -da. Should uh, it shoot quicker with SP than EPPT? Well, EPPT is, they've got a couple of things coming out fairly soon, I believe. Um, my wife is wanting one of those things. Um, she wants to buy EPPT Dreamscape and uh, we'll be able to see what the lead time of that's going to be very shortly. We'll be interested to, to see if it's crazy long or crazy short. Oh, was, was. These are the final few steps of putting this back together. The JST is for a um, for the breakout. You can see the orange breakout here. Um, Just need a nice cable to finish your setup. I know a man that can make nice cables. His timeline's a bit long, but um, he makes some nice cables. What you can do um, for for when you do get yours is um, put my put the stream on in the background, and then just do everything that. Wherever I make a mistake, just don't do that. Makes life very easy for yourself. Okie dokie. It should just be the bloody gripping weight go back in place. Can I mention how big this way is? It is so heavy. Thank you. I'm bigger. Can you send me the details after the stream? The details? What details are you meaning I was was? Oh you want the you you want the um uh where I'm gonna be uploading the stream to? Oh you're the cable person. Oh uh go pecs on PCs. Um Pexon in the UK is my guy that I go to for anything cable related. Uh, do you think the build difficulty is difficult? 
Do I think the build is difficult to do in general? No, I don't think it is. Um, a lot of parts, um, lots of bits. Um, no, I wouldn't say it's difficult. You should have some time on your hands, that's all. fingerprints there is quite a lot of them on here as you can see look at that beautiful beautiful weight she's heavy though she's heavy she's about as heavy as my um, normal force okay so with the board nearly complete what we will do is we'll put some caps on it and we'll give it a nice typing test so as mentioned previously we have got uh, Infinity Port to put on here. Um, it is a very nice set. I'm a big fan of Infinity Port. So here is the set. Oh, I'm sorry, no. uh, o was was has gone for the yellow, yellowish accents. You can see beautiful sort of purpley colour. Camera's making it a lot deeper than it probably is. It's more of a a paler purple uh, than this. So what we're going to do is um, I'm just going to move a few bits and pieces around. Um, we're going to make a bit of space on this desk because we don't need as much much of this stuff here. And we're going to give it a quick typing test. Um, I'll test the I'll fully test the board off stream um, to in case there is any problems. Um, I'll double check everything uh, and. Um, Obviously, Owoz Woz will get his board fairly shortly. Um, I say fairly shortly. He has a second board with me at the moment. Um, and I'm going to be um, building, the, uh, building the switches up for him this week. Um, let me just get a little bit tidied up here first. Those bits on the AK below. Yep, O was was is in the UK and he's on NK UK. Um, instead of doxing yourselves, um, I will just say, uh, Curious Yellow, why don't you post into the general chat or voice chat, I should say, post into voice chat. Um, saying hello and he will reply to you instead of doxing yourselves saying whom you are okie dokie so now that we've cleared a bit of space what we are going to do is we're just going to move this move this up a bit Yeah. And we're going to get to work on putting these caps on. So as I'm doing this, I was was. Please let me know if you have anything. Oh bloody hell, that is that has got some serious legs to it. Okay, I'm going to have to show that off in a second. I'll show it off now, actually. Okay. I'm going to hold it like this so you can see this bit here look at the look at this piece here where it joins so i'm going to press it then i don't know if you can see that it's flexing like crazy get the flex on that look at that that's a crazy amount of flex
the whole thing is like I don't know if you can see how much you guys can see that that's flexing like crazy I'm gonna give a really nice typing experience I think it's gonna be nice and soft soft but clacky It was was do you want the yellow accent escape or the normal one purple or normal let me know yellow escape okay perfect maybe not as much as the salvation but i mean everything is flexing That's a cool table you're making. Well, I'm not making a table, unfortunately. Um, but this is um, uh, a standard IKEA desk. It is uh, it is a IKEA kitchen countertop. How long have I been making tables? Um, that's a very good question. I mean, since the mid 80s, I'd probably say. I've been making tables since the mid 80s. Born in the 90s, but making tables since the 80s. Is you meaning keyboards? If not, you possibly have my stream up and then somebody else's stream up as well. chance have a list of boards that you have built uh, a list of boards that I've built um, I don't have a list um, if you type exclamation point YouTube into the chat uh, into the chat it'll take you to my discord uh, take you to my discord it'll take you to my YouTube channel uh, and on there you'll be able to see all of the um, boards that I've built I upload all of my live streams onto there um, some builds I've built off of, um, off, of, off stream um, unfortunately the most recent one that I built off stream was um, I'm forgetting the name of it entirely now um, the 7B I built a 7B off of um, off stream the other day but uh, got a few nice builds coming up. Um, so this is this is one of one of Oval's was is really nice uh, boards. Um, and he has sent me another board which I I would happily buy off of it, buy off of him if he wanted to sell it. Um, he he's got the uh, voice uh, sixty five. Um, did I get a salvation? I didn't, unfortunately. Um, I can't type on anything smaller than a, a TKL. Uh, and if you can see from my shoulder, there is one, two, there's how many up there at the moment? Six. Six TKLs, and there is three more to come. Um, I can't type on anything smaller than a TKL, unfortunately. Um, if Salvin perhaps wanted to make the Salvation TKL, then I'd be more than happy to um, buy one of those. But I do have something coming from Salvin fairly soon. Uh, and if he's in the chat, hurry up and send it to me. You're taking your time. I want it now. Okay. Now!
So, um, have, have you got one? Uh, have you got a salvation coming? <laughs> oh, he's here! He's here! Shit! <laughs> Abandon ship! Abandon ship! Oh god! Oh god! Um, um, uh, we're gonna be right back, guys. <laughs> I'm <pretty> joking. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, Savin, mate. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing you at a meetup saying that, Savin. You better be coming to the UK meetup. You better be coming to that. Come over to Belgium and beat you up or otherwise. How's that going to work? What do you mean? Me coming over and beating you up? I'll, t I'll take a flight over and uh, I'll bring the boys with me. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I'm sorry to hear that you lost money on it. We we are thinking about having a. We, there was a discussion of a meetup um, this year up in KUK. Um, so may still happen may still happen oh. yeah it depends on the vaccine um i have the the vaccine is um down to people who are age 30 now and i am 29 years old um so I should be getting mine either next week or the week after. Uh, shit, man. And go page down, page up, and. Um, is there the add-on kit? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. So all of the keys in this, that the, these are the worst made trays you've ever seen in your life. But... <laughs> uh, what uh, keys did you want? Tell me, tell me which ones you want. Where would you like them? And still better than yeah i mean i mean the, the the added extra of silverfish is um severely lacking with um infinity i mean where is my silverfish do i have to buy an add-on kit to get silverfish uh one orange ones on the top right oh yeah yeah if you want if you want that yeah of course yeah yeah um, so what we can do is we could probably do. So you want these these two top right ones to be that. Um, so we got like one uh, one orange, one lime. Okay, so do you want this one, this one in orange, this one, this one, this one. Okay, okay. So which one? Left or right? So, so, so a, a, manga, uh, any board leaks for us, Salvin? Just joking. Um, there's a three D printed. Board that Salvin's making on the shelf up there. You might not be able to see it. Ooh. Yeah, it's 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 like it's like there. Oh, it's so close, so close. <laughs> uh. 
Okie dokie, let's get this finished. Not too big. Maybe not the UK. The, all of the UK keys are in here. So, so Salvin, are you looking forward to um, GMK, uh, all of these copper caps that you're going to be making for everybody? The thousands and thousands and thousands of copper caps that are going to be bought fairly shortly. Use. Just trying to find the um, 1.5 U shift key that goes there, I think. Never remember the way these go. I don't think it's going to be that good. The code capture. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the other choice that you have got, by the way, is there isn't um, the normal tilled key that goes here, where it's a white one. Do you want a white one? Do you want the? Do you want the white one of those, or do you want? I I I put this I put this purple one there. Or do you want the, the purple one going there? Not the purple one. Or do you want it going here and something else going there? I can put. I think there's some blanks that I can put there. I'll put this here. And the little shift key. Lantern on the left. So this one. That one. Just there. Yes, it's tilled. Okay. Right. And then bottle here. I'm trying to find this bloody shift key. There, buy them. Well, you're you're just about to miss it, curious yellow. Just about to miss it. I'm going to put the bottle key here, if that's right. Replace the code with the jelly, uh, the jelly epoch. Okay, I can I can replace the code ones. I'll put the bottle there. Um, where's my switchboard? Those on the. Hey, this key cap set does look very good on this um, jelly and jelly. Okay, so I was was. What do you think of that? Do you, you like the look of it? Let me know. Let me know if you need want any changes. Love it. Okay, there is a sound test incoming. Yes, there is a sound test incoming. Um, I just have to put all of this away. Um, I won't be doing the standard typing test because I do it off. I do it off of. Um, uh, I do all of the testing off of stream. Um, so. So Salvin, when you said um, look for stuff tomorrow, were you meaning a certain board or uh, something else?
Press the deny buttons for a certain board. I know that board. <laughs> Q9 machine. Ooh. Ooh -wee. Yes. <laughs> Let's just make sure all these cats are down. I had I had Q9 as some. Um, oh, here's 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 Will right at the la last second. Don't need to DM me about that. Oh shit. Okay. Send me a sling a sling a message into my DMs. So. This is this is the Jelly Epoch, and I'd just like to sh I would like to show off how flexible this is. I'm so I'm going to put it onto my shoulder here, and you're going to see there is. I mean, that's not showing any flex at all, but there is there is a crazy amount of flex, like deck flex, on this board, like. Really difficult to show you how much this is flexing. Like there, that's not me moving the board that much. That's it flexing. You can see on the F5 key how much it's flexing. Side view. One more camera. Like. The camera is struggling with this, but you can see the flex there. It's quite a lot of flex. Okay, so we're going to pull the old microphone down. And I'm just going to play with the sound settings quickly. You're suddenly going to hear an awful lot of other stuff because I've got uh, noise reduction filters on this, so. Um, geez, so. Okay, you probably can hear an awful lot more background noise. This is the unfiltered noise coming from the microphone, so. The space bar is perfect all the way along. I mean, it's it's weird. Like as you're typing on it, I can see, I can see it moving like this. Like like, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but as I as I'm as I as I'm doing it, you can see it moving down like a l millimeter or two. I mean, I'm very happy with that.
cool. So um, I'll just change my uh, microphone back to the video broadcast one. Okay, so that should sort out anything and I'll put the music back on. So guys, this is the Jelly Epoch in ink. Um, this has got uh, Duroc piano switches, which is 63.5 gram uh, Duroc poms. Um, the housings of the uh, the switches are made of POM, but the um, stems are made of a mystery material. I've said it in, in the stream before, I'm pretty sure the mystery material is UHMWPE. Um, it has the same feel and sound characteristics as, as the UHMWP stems that I've had in the past. Um, we have got a flex PCB inside of this and a polycarbonate plate. Um, the caps on this are Infiniki port uh, and we've got the normal and the add-on kits. Um, overall, I'm very happy with this. Um, I'm going to do the typing, like the proper keyboard tests after the stream to make sure that there isn't any um, uh, chattering switches or anything like that. Um, I've got spares here to be able to, um, uh, to swap out if they are chattering at all. Um, but uh, I'll do all of that testing off of the stream. Uh, but overall, thank you very much for um, dropping in and saying hello um, and having a listen to my to my, to my rantings and ravings. Um, I'm glad that everybody could be a part of the stream. I'm glad that I got to see some of you, um, some people that wouldn't normally drop in. But uh, next week, um, I'm hoping to have the uh, second of I Was Was's boards uh, being built. So uh, next week we have got uh, the Voice 65, um, which is a kind of an interesting board. It's got a rotor encoder on the side that you can uh, rotate, but I've got the Voice 65 with um, lubed creams to build. And so that will be next week's uh, build stream. Um, but uh, if, if any of you have any questions about this board or anything like that, um, and you want to just chat or anything, um, send me a message on Discord. Um, uh, if you're interested in watching, if you've joined halfway through, like uh, uh, Will has, if you've joined halfway through and you want to watch the stream, um, just type exclamation mark YouTube. I'll be uh, putting this stream up as soon as I'm able to. There is a 24 hour delay. Um, so as soon as I'm able to put it up, I'll put it, put it up onto my YouTube channel. So just put an exclamation mark YouTube and you'll find my YouTube channel there. Um, the typing test of this video that I'm about to do will also go up onto the YouTube channel, um, uh, probably uh, ne mid next week. Uh, but otherwise, uh, if you've enjoyed the content, um, hit follow. Um, I can't say hit subscribe because there is, there is no subscribe button, but go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, but Otherwise, have a nice uh, rest of your Monday, and for those who are in the UK, have a nice rest of your bank holiday Monday, uh, and hope all you guys are having a good one. Talk to you later.